What's up guys? I hope you all are having an amazing day. The weather has been pretty bad this week and I have not been able to go out to take any photos. So instead of not posting tomorrow, which is Monday, actually it's Sunday today, um, I invited a couple of friends to come over so we can make a video of critiquing our own photos and you know just tell each other what we think about the photo what we would have changed if we were in that same situation and exactly what we would have done if we were supposed to be taking that photo or if we had the opportunity to take the same photo that they took so today i have with me here ezra yo why do you have candy in your mouth <laughs> i have with me here ezra and robbie we are going to get started and critique the photos are you guys ready? I'm ready. Yes, sir. We are going to leave it up to you guys to decide which photo or which which one of us took any photo that comes up the screen. Um, this is the first photo. And so what do you think? I like, oh, then, <clears throat> I don't know. With the light, I can't, I can't really think much about it. I would prefer if the whole shadow of the female was like, portrayed on the ground mm -hmm. or if it was in this situation I would love it darker because mm -hmm. you get to see high in the light and then like the shadow darker against the wall but at the end I love I love it by itself like the way it is I still like it you would have done certain things different in the photo and you wish the lady, the light on her would have shown the shadow, like full body in the light. Yeah. Instead of having it and halfway. So what, what you would have done is wait until they were right in the middle of the light. Yeah, but then that's the trick. Because at the end of the day, you get like five seconds to take a picture. And making that decision in the five seconds that you have is, makes it harder to take it well so. that that also makes it tell the difference between somebody who is good at street photography and somebody who is not good because the timing is the most important seeing the photo in your mind first before, before it, it happens, happens yeah, makes you sure. a really good photographer right. mm -hmm. so seeing the scene before right before it happens i think to me it, it looks like i don't know that it just feels like you had just walked up on that and caught it like that right like Cause I feel like you would have angled it differently. Like I liked a lot of the stuff, the, the the matter, like the subject matter involved with it. Like I do, I like how the lights cut off. I like the tree over here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But if I would have done anything different, I would have probably been facing that straight on. You you would have been yeah. in front of the I would have been in of front the of the building that way. Yeah. Okay. You would have said the cut off, but I do. I like how the shadow is right here. Honestly, I like how the leg is kinked. On the curb and all that, but I was like, "What is she? What is she talking about? What is she saying to him?" Right. It makes me think, like, "What? What's going Maybe on?" Maybe they are not even together. Maybe right. it's just two or strangers they, or that they, are walking yeah. in the street. Well, I think I agree with Ezra on most part. Like, I would have waited until she is fully in the um, in the light, right. so we can have her whole body. Uh, the shadow of her whole body in the light and also maybe bring down the shadows a little bit more yeah. so there wouldn't be distractions of all the right. stuff around them so it will be more focused on them than as having these on the, the right side right over, here yeah. the mailbox and then on the other side all those signs so I think yeah this that would have been the difference that I will make and that's the same thing you said yeah. and then I think you, I agree with you also on a, like a little bit because if you go in front of them, the lighting is going to be different. Well, yeah, for sure. It's going to be, it's good. the whole scene is going to look different. But I think at the end of the day, the picture itself like holds up, like it worked the way right. it was captured. Maybe the next time we all like, we take a step back and we really think about it and be quick as possible to create the image that we want well what do you guys think 
let me know in the comments below what you guys what you guys think about this photo who do you think took the photo do you think Ezra took it do you think Robbie took it do you think I took it let us know so let's move to the next photo all right looks like we have a lot of light and shadow play in this critique folder <laughs> um, Robbie what what would you have done different different in this photo or what do you think about this photo I like it overall mm -hmm. I don't I like the figure but I wish the shadow would have been more clear okay. you know like you could tell there's blur around it because the focal distance was right set up so great but I like the framing maybe further back if it would have been taken right yeah, from back further okay uh, and Ezra what do you think I mean same thing kind of like if his shadow was like actually showing like the focal length between him I mean I still love the the come on on come mm -hmm. and I would prefer both of them like both of them in the same focal length like you can see the shadow and you can see the walk i i think it's welcome it should be welcome right so like you, you wish see. you wish you could see the whole word the walk no not the whole word but the but same way it is like that blur guy mm -hmm. is like non blurry okay more silhouetted around maybe the facial structure i mean you, yeah, you, get, you, it, can, it you can tell it look it bleeds and you know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Well, what what I think about this photo is, I think it is a snapshot, and if if I had the opportunity to take this photo, maybe I'll step back. I don't I don't I don't know what focal length or what um, like the distance it was between the subject, the ATM machine behind them, <clears throat> and, and the photographer. But I wish the photographer or whoever took the photo was a little bit back Agreed. and gotten more of the subject. And then maybe instead of the space behind him, that empty space, if it was a little, like if it was in front of him, he is more to the left of the frame. Mm -hmm. So if he was to the right of the frame, that is what I would have done. I would have taken the photo in a way that there is more space in front of him than it is behind yeah. him and then yeah his sh the shadow looks a little bit blurry so if the shadow was sharp and the background is blurry because the background is green which is like making it distracting because when you look at the photo your f your eye goes straight to the, the green background which it should be on the subject or maybe what the most interesting part of the photo is and again it, which is the subject right and even though you can still tell that it's a person you can barely tell it's a person it because well. of the distance that the photo was taken but i like i like the the color the pop of the colors in it with the solid black around it you know like mm -hmm. it still adds cool contrast like a little yeah it, it adds depth to it right but it shows different layers kind of but i wish you know it was taken from a little bit far from right. how close it is. Absolutely. Well, let us know in the comments, guys, what you guys think about this photo right here. So the next photo is this one. This is very interesting. Um, in this photo, um, I think think I would have wish we could see a little bit of the subject's face maybe if if the photo was taken from behind the car so you can see the reflection of them in the mirror because this is the side mirror right and the photo would have been more interesting if you could see the the, the subject in the mirror right I agree with that. that that would have been really great and I like I like the hand gesture, like how he's holding the cigarette or whatever he the person was smoking. And I like I like how it's being processed. Like I like everything about it. 
the only thing that I, I have to say about this photo is I wish the subject space was in the photo. Right. I wish you could like see the person in the side mirror, or bit, maybe, just, yeah. or maybe if you have, if the person could have stepped back and then take the photo from the windshield and then gotten his hand on the other side of the frame, just right. just to add more story to to the photo. But I think that is the only thing that I would say. Yeah, a little bit of mystery. Ezra, what do you think? I mean, I like it because one, it it is like this mystery hand that is just probably somebody smoking, but right. It, it, it doesn't show the identity of the person smoking. What it shows is a hand and a cigarette. And that's about it. And I don't know how to say about like what to say exactly about it, but nah, come on. I think what it says to me is it just it looks relaxing. It looks like a relaxing day. You got the window down, sitting there, arm out comfortably, enjoying the weather. Well, if, if you look at it in such an angle, you don't even know where the hands are. Now, going. talking about it more, I'm looking at it like I'm thinking about the photo even more than I, I thought about it when I first seen it. Right. It looks like it, it. The hand looks like anybody could take that photo of the car there and Photoshop that hand. Right. Because you in it, it. kind of because, know where it comes yeah, from. Yeah, you, you don't you don't even know where, whether the person is sitting behind or is sitting in the driver's seat. Right. Mm -hmm. That is why I was saying maybe if the person was in it, even if it was a little bit of the shoulder or half face or just an eye. Just the part of the face in it, then you could tell, oh okay, the person was actually sitting in the car and this is their hand outside. Right. Yeah. You know what I mean? So um, if I had the opportunity to take this photo or retake it or if I had the opportunity to take this photo I would have made sure the subject, the person, was in the f the photo or in the frame a little bit. Yeah, that's about yeah. my only point with everything else. Again, nice. what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this photo? Do you really like it? Do you what? What would you have done different if you were in the same situation? Let us know in the comments below. Let us know. I want to say that. I'm All right, <laughs> and and subscribe below. Just to cut in. Um, we are just doing this to help each other, you know, critiquing our own photos and helping each other, like, be a better person. This is, this is anything I say or anything Robbie, uh, Robbie says or Ezra says, it's just an opinion. So whatever you guys also think, I, I know it's going to be an opinion. So let's just help each other and learn together and be great at what we do. I think it'll also teach everyone else out right. there too. Just because you're friends doesn't mean you always have to tell exactly. them straight up like, oh, I like it. No, tell them exactly what you feel. What you feel about the photo to help them grow. Right. Because if, if, if I see this photo, I'm like, oh, this looks really great. Maybe the next time if you, are, if you find yourself in the same scene, you're going to take the same photo because you think, oh, they like the other one. Right. So really glad that you guys decided to do this. And this is fun. All right, let's go on to the next photo. Wow, what do you think? <laughs> Truth be told, I love this picture. Cause yeah. I don't know if she was playing peekaboo <laughs> or something, but I, I love the fact that she's curious to come out and be captured on her way out. Mm -hmm. Like the look in her eyes straight up and she's probably doing something. Like the curiosity in the picture, I love it. There is nothing I would say wrong about it. Mm -hmm. I would, if I was to love it more, if there's like another shadow on this, on the other side, is it the left or right? I don't know. This is but on the left. Yeah, on the left side. If there was a shadow, like walking by or something, like if mm -hmm. there was some other figure that is, I don't care if it's blurry or it's, but I love this image. I do too. So I can't really say anything negative about it and what I like about it is usually you don't want something right in the middle of a frame like that right here yeah. with the subject and it just works so perfect here and her reaction is everything like her expression the, you the know expression feels it. any other facial expression probably would not work either all right let's go on to the next you guys let us know what you think 
Wow. I like this. I really do. Well, what do you think? It's dramatic. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's all you There's just so many <laughs> thoughts. There's just so many thoughts involved. I don't know. You know? No, I mean, truth be told, I love that picture. But I hate the dead space on the right. Okay. I wish there was like a car or something. Don't you think uh, hate is a strong word to use? <laughs> no, I don't hate it. Like hate. maybe you like you, you wish that that dead space wasn't there. Yeah. See, I, I like love it. it. I love the dead space. I agree. I agree with you a little bit. Well, um, maybe I would say the wide. How wide is it? It's not really helping. Maybe I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, I would if I had the opportunity to retake this picture or take this picture um i would want the full body shadow yes. in the frame and instead of the camera going very to the top like all those space at the top bring it down a little bit so you can see the whole shadow yeah, the of shadow. the person in the photo and and i agree with you also like the space over there is like just so empty and if you would have brought it in a little bit or if but then uh, like, I wouldn't want if that. I look at it again, like I love that space because it adds to the drama. Like it, it adds to the drama. Emotion. It's like it's isolated. It's, she's lonely. just some lonely girl walking. Right. I think. Yeah. I think. I think the one thing that I would change about this My shadow. is the shadow. Make get the full body in it. Right. And then mm -hmm. maybe bring the camera down a little bit so you get the whole body and then. That would get a little bit, uh, that would get rid of some of the dead space around it. So, let us know, guys, what you think about this photo. It's beautiful outside. Look at that. Okay, what do you think about this photo, Robbie? Man, I don't know. I can't even begin. You know, um, I wish that brick was cut off okay. on the left side. All right. Um, I like it. I like the subject matter. Always people lighting cigarettes. It's interesting for some reason. I wish more of her body was showing, leg wise. Mm -hmm. Honest, that's about it. I feel like anyone could replicate that. You know right. what I mean? At the same time, though. Right. Well, I feel like we've done it. You know, a million times. Mm -hmm. But um, with me, what I think the background is a little bit distracting mm -hmm. to me, and with the wall. If the wall is going to be in it, or the bricks that is on the left side, if it's going to be in it, it should be uh, more of it in the frame, and then more of hair in the frame, mm -hmm. and th th those the dead space, the uh -huh. the head room is is a little bit too much. So if again the camera was all the step back, cut some of that space away. And maybe a black and white on this would have yeah, I think black saved and white. the photo. Like black and white would have really make it look good. But um, yeah, a black, maybe black and white on it. The space above the head brought down a little bit more of the brick in it, more of the subject in it. And maybe if it was taken from a little bit to the left, like the angle, so you could get her face. Or maybe if if you waited a little bit to uh, get her eye contact or something right. like that. I don't know, but what do you also think, Ezra? I mean, I like it. I, I feel like, like whatever is going on, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree that the headroom is too much, but I love the background of it because it's like there's a lot going on behind Okay, her. it adds depth to it. Yeah, and she's comfortably lighting up her cigarette. Like, I'll take my time and light the cigarette. But I do agree that brick, or oh, the S at the top, mm -hmm. should be more of it and then more power. Or it could stand for smoke. All right, guys. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you guys think. <laughs> so let's go on to the next photo. Hmm. Ezra, what do you think about this photo? Mm -hmm. I love it, man. I love the Afro guy, even though he's blurry. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, I just like how 
his they're both like focused on whatever they're doing. Mm-hmm. So you 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 wish he was also in focus? No. Oh, you I, like? I, I wouldn't change anything on this picture. Like truth be told, I wouldn't change anything on it. Okay. Because everything it, it's it's just a busy window. Like you can't beat it. All right, that is a hard one. I mean, I like the the subject. I like the newspaper. I like in the background, he's brewing coffee. You know, right? The brick, a lot of good, like a lot of good subject matter in it. I feel like it's not completely straight. What's bothering me, I think the angle maybe. It's a little bit. Yeah, okay. it doesn't look okay. as centered as it as it could. Okay. Then I mean, other than that though, I like it. I like the black and white. I think it was a good call for that because the newspaper black and white. You know what I mean? Brick, all that. Maybe a little less headspace, but not. But you gotta get the light so. I like the light. I just wish there was more in the foreground. Right. Maybe. What what I would have done different in this photo is um yeah. I mean if you if you want to crop it in a little right. bit, that would be good, but um that would take away a lot of the light. Yeah. And the, the light also mm -hmm. adds up to it because you wanna see that there was light, you you wanna see that you know what is lighting the room and I, I you can tell it's a coffee shop and I like the fact that the guy behind him is out of focus I like that as well because it you know it it, it, add, it adds up to it and I like that he is looking at the um, paper the newspaper and I agree with you maybe if a little bit of the foreground was showing or maybe not because right. it's out of focus the focus is on him mm -hmm. which is really good and as far as the tilting i can barely see that it's not accurate. i think it, it might be my to angle show. sitting to the left over here as well like i can't really tell if it's cropped or not but right it looks straight on me yeah yeah i think the black and white also really worked on on this photo true there is not much that i would change on this photo all right, let us know, guys. Let us know what you guys think. I love this. How look? How look on the face? It's it's just priceless. It's like it's just priceless. What is it doing? What are you doing? <laughs> and and I like the fact that you can still on the left side of the frame you can see that little peak of somebody there. To add to the depth, like you right. know, she's not alone. Mm -hmm. There are people around. Um, maybe what I'll do different. Maybe go a little bit to the left, so I don't have more of this bar on the side right. in the frame. Um, but apart from that, it, it looks great. The color works on it. Black and white will, you know, black street and black and white is like. Right. You know they just go together and but then I think this this is just a, I don't maybe I'll, I can say it's perfect maybe I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10 I really like it I really, really I'll like give it. the girl the 9.5 <laughs> that look is just priceless. Yeah, that look like, is priceless I like the shadow work I don't I wish the right side could be cut off a little bit more mm -hmm. I think the closeness is great, but maybe even extending it out just a little, a little bit to bit show more legs. To, to, to get more of her leg in but it. But the darkness, how the words are framed out yeah. right in the shadow. And the fact that you can tell it's a straight candid because the little, the sister or whatever, saw it coming and moved out of the way. Moved out of the way. And she just happened now to looking at, off Now guard. looking at it, yeah, now look at it. It looks like she, she's seen the photographer coming and, and then she's just like she moved out of the way and a little then bit. Yeah. Maybe she said something to her, which made her look up and bam. Right. This is, this is amazing. I, I really like this photo. And I think even even if you don't put it in among some photos, I think it, it's, it can stand on its own. Right. Yeah. It can stand on its own. It's, it's, ice cream it's really man. amazing. Yeah. I love ice cream. Right, right. All right. Let good. us know, guys, what you think. Whoa! Whoa. People are I partying, love that. jamming. 
I already tell you straight up, I am. I'm not changing <laughs> anything at all in this photo. I just love that guy dancing, man. They, I, I love this He doesn't person. care if they're cheering well, him. But one thing, like, maybe one thing I would have changed, maybe, or maybe you cannot because they have these watches on and if this phone wasn't yep. in the photo, like it, kind of it would have looked so like it was taken yeah. back, back, by like the, the, the vintage photo. That's one of those photos like where people would look at and be like, there was a time travel at this point. Right. You ever see those but videos? I like that everybody surrounding yeah. him is female. But look how many people you can make out right. as well. Look at all the different facial like expression. There's there's a lot going on. Like this guy right in the top corner, right top corner, he like chilling. he's just like he doesn't <laughs> even care what's going on. The clap, the motion. <laughs> he doesn't precious. like what he doesn't care what's going on. He he looks like he's just in his own zone. And I, I street photography is more about gesture and like um There's a lot of depth in the uh what is what what am I trying to say like the focus on on the subject like and, and the story behind it yeah and this person is like the, the center of the photo the, the the subject and the people around him is just adding up to it and whoever took it did a great job at yeah making this, your eye this go is exactly just, where he wanted it this photo is it's so good so much love in the room so good i love this person the Back moment the happiness <laughs> and, and and everything this this photo makes me happy yeah that there is, is nothing i'll change about it absolutely nothing even the time travel. Do I wish that phone wasn't in? Yeah, but it that is that is not even something that distracts or takes away from right. from the photo. But this this is a really great job of photo. Anyways, you guys let us know what you guys think about this photo. Hmm. That's <clears throat> in my, I, what do you guys think? I love the subject matter, mm -hmm. the instruments in the background, it's like a repair, or where they make them. Yeah, like a repair, yeah, that's really cool, because there's a guitar on the left. Yeah, you can see a guitar on the left. Hmm, I'm trying to think. I would love to see it in color too, just to see the colors of the woods. Right. And all that. I think it's kind of dark, like both from where I'm sitting, over here with the glare. Oh, the, okay, that's a lovely that, idea. Yeah. I like that it, it caught him working. What he was doing. I wish I knew what, what this was. What do you think, Kenzo? I don't know. I, I like the way it is. I just feel like... I mean, the guitar... Yeah, the guitar shows. I just feel like if that was a little bit more light, mm -hmm. that side and this, like... Minus he he's he's the right light that I would love on him, mm -hmm. but like the light on the side Maybe. by the guitar and his whatever if it's a desk I don't know. I feel like a, a lot of this is distracting too over here on the right, but but it shows what what's happening it shows well. what's happening and what but he probably I think what, does. What, what I, I don't know. what I wish was different in this photo is I wish those blinds were open. So you can get more light coming in, right. but at the same time, it it diffuses the light that was coming through, which gives you a little bit of light on the subject. Because if that was like bright uh, lit, it's going to be more of a silhouette of him. Yeah. And uh, so, guys, let us know in the comments below what you think about this photo too. Let's go to the next. On to the next. Oh snap! Yo. Oh. I don't know. In sincerity, I would love, I would have loved like that guy, mm -hmm. if he was showing more. Mm -hmm. I don't mind anything else but the man walking. Mm -hmm. I love the eyes of the upside down woman, I guess. Yeah, the upside down woman. But I would have loved that guy more of his shadow and him himself because he's black like at the end of the day he look like a shadow too like it's sorry guys i'm eating a candy cane that he stopped me from eating and it so <laughs> happened so i'm speaking wrong 
but I love I love the the whole picture I just wish that guy was like one step backwards so you can see him like more in the light yeah and more of shadow yeah that's for sure like I more think, just the guy on the left I think I agree with you I think um, if he was more sh like the light on him was more than it being a shadow and the shadow on the wall is just being a shadow um, I don't know if you guys understand what I'm trying to say but like if there were more light on him and we could see his face I don't care about the face I just care that it's hard to tell him from the branch of the stem, whatever. I don't know. The, sh the, the shadows tree. of the branches. Oh, yeah. so I like that you can just see gray hair. I wish, because you could see. Well, you can tell it's an old guy. I like that aspect. You There's can tell that it's a male. He has coffee. You can tell that he got coffee. You can tell that he's walking this direction. I think, I think. <laughs> I like the picture. I like it. I like it. I like the solid black area. Just I how like perfect it. the shape of it is. Just. I like it. Yeah, I do. I do really Mysterious. like it. Serious. Maybe, maybe if, if if we could have like if it was like taking a little bit, the distance was further away a little bit. Yeah. That like it's too tight. Like the photo is too tight and close. That the space between him and the end of the frame is like this this much. So yeah. if there was a little bit of room. Right. Just a little bit. A little bit of room, but. Yeah, that would have make it perfect, but it's it's. And yeah, those woman's eyes, man. Yeah, that that makes it look really subject good. Subject matter. Yeah, I I wish I I wish the for the eyes of the person was looking this way, yeah, so yeah. It, it would look like it is looking at him. That, that would have cool. that would have been so cool and, and really nice. So guys, let us know in the comments below what you guys think. I am not a huge fan of taking photos of graffiti's and stuff like mm -hmm. that and mirrors and stuff like that but if there is a subject in it it takes away from just it being a there's a lot of way. subject in that so there this works Wires. really good this works really good and let us know in the comment guys what you think cozy Ooh, mm. interesting i like the subject matter already little smiley faces in the back oh the little head like that's even hard to tell. Yeah. It looks like a reflection of someone, but the smiley faces over top of their it's face. It's reflecting. Kind of, yeah, the reflection of the car. I like that the photographer's in it as well, because you can I actually think, see exactly. I think how yeah. Um, most of the times, like we we take photos and we don't we don't take photos of, of ourselves. So yeah, I have, I I think, have that problem. I, mean, I think I think it, it works in this. But it's not it's not distracting. It's not distracting. Now you can barely tell. If, yeah. if we were not photographers, I don't think anybody who isn't will pay attention to it. I don't know. You guys, what do you think? Would you have noticed it that that is the photographer? Maybe, yeah, maybe not, but like the no subject is small, a small, well exposed. Maybe I, like I would have wished <laughs> there were more light on her yeah. Yeah. than the photographer because even though you can tell that the photographer is a little more dark than she is, but still maybe there was more light on, on, on this but i like honestly and like, this is where sometimes maybe dodge and burn work because you can just burn the right side of the frame a little right. bit more and just put more light on the on the subject but i like how candid it is she's vulnerable yeah, that's I not wish, like a typical pose video right if it was I, 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 yeah that it, it, it it's a really it's nice like, photo i just wish there were, there were more light on the subject right. that is the only thing I that like i would have taken yeah. What do you think, Ezra? I love it. I love how busy it is. Her cleaning her eye or something. And okay. then the photographer got a chance to get a self portrait. <laughs> I just you can I look just at love it and find something new. Right. Forever. Right. So you can keep looking at it and finding stuff and there is a little I think this way like you see the eye of the person and then on the left side of yeah. the, there is another face over there and it's yeah, also the faces. other side of the fa of the person i think yeah looking but at if it you look over the photographer's shoulder it looks like a reflection of someone <laughs> like yeah, i know that's right interesting. And there's, there's that's, small, that's crazy there is more there is more in the photo like you can keep staring at it and finding stuff this is yeah, this is really interesting for sure. it is really interesting 
this is why sometimes like double exposures and reflections yeah. on window shots are, are really good because you get more depth in mm -hmm. it and really let us know guys what you think oh I love like that Paul that's a great subject matter and that's very candid because no one would ever have their photo taken I mean I just like love that. this picture I don't know yeah. if it's because it's the mother helping yeah. the daughter I respect you, man. I just love it, man. Yeah, I think it's perfect, honestly. It's As perfect. Is, that is 100% great subject. I like it too. I really do. Help um, you yeah. Maybe, maybe I wish they were. It was taken a little bit wider, mm -hmm. and there were you can tell that how busy it is by, at the background. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe they were more to the left a little bit than the center of the frame. But I like that too because under the arm and between the head, there's still a silhouette of someone perfectly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. I, I, I'm not even. I'm not even realizing. That. <laughs> there's a silhouette of a person. Yeah. Framed perfectly under the arm. And I like that. Sometimes it's good to have eye contact, but this it works that they are not looking because it tells you how busy it is in the photo. Right. Of, of if the mother hasn't. The pay attention to the daughter maybe she would have just but the daughter's the looking down learning too like too right so a, this is like a really just a helping moment. hand right but then the last person that left I wish there was like a shadow or something like I don't know something the, the, yeah Minus it looks like a person I'm talking mean, about right here oh yeah these, because there's space filled because these faces here. here and mm -hmm. I would wish same level like well, wait the same head level, mm -hmm. same thing. Yeah, that's like to even it out. If people so, were there. Yeah, but it's not standing because I love her being like above everything mm -hmm. and everybody else being below being, them. No. Okay. So if another like blurry person or something was like on the other side. Okay. I think I agree with you too. I really do. Well, let us know in the comments, guys. Oh wow. Hunt. This looks like Hunt. the first picture that was with the green background. Or it looks like what should have been done on the first one. It looks one. like what should have been done on the <laughs> yeah. first one. Yeah. I mean, he corrected it. It looks like it should have been done. It looks like the person took that photo and then said like, I think, yeah, this photo needs to be retaken and waited until another person came and took the photo. But I love this. I like the fact that he is walking from light into shadow. Um, it tells a little bit story about like life in general. Like you know, people go through stuff like this. Like in the in 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 the um, like exposed, and then later on you don't hear about them anymore. Yeah. Or, or, or things are going great with them, and then all of a sudden it's like they are gone. This represents like something like that. Like and I said, the wordplay, the hunt. I like that. I know in street photography, they are more about the, the, that V-shaped leg mm -hmm. thing. I like that. You can see that. Do I wish this pole or parking meter wasn't there? Yeah, I wish it wasn't there. But, I mean, you can't just take it away yeah. and take the photo. But it, it, it looks really good. Really, really There should have been maybe some more definition in the body like the torso like an arm back oh or the something. arm back so it's yeah. right in the right. middle it's very just it, it looks like but it's still he busy. has no hand it's still yeah yeah i, I, I mean you can still make out i like it yeah. it's like just like a it. ghost walking and into the yeah i wouldn't want that and i think it's that portion i think it's a middle or something mm -hmm. i wouldn't want it there but then at the end of the day if you look at it it's just a black guy and a black meter in it's like a ghost or something. But and it look, kind of looks evenly proportioned between the black and light, like the dark right. and light. That's it looks. It looks really good. Yeah, I, I think I agree with Robbie. If there was a little bit of movement in behind the with the hand, so mm. you can tell that there was a hand movement. But because this looks like he had just one hand, yeah, um, which makes it look a little bit awkward. But yeah, I think I agree with you on that. And and yeah, the only thing that I wish I would change is the hand movement and then this pole. But apart from that, this is a really great photo. Really, let us know in the comments, guys, what, what you think about this photo. And then, again, I all of the photos that we've shown so far, maybe some of it you might 
obviously see who took it but let us know which one of us you think took the photo as it goes if you think um, Robbie took the photo let us know which photo you think Robbie took let, let us know which photo you think I took and let us know which which one you think Ezra took all right let's go to the next one peace what do you guys think I like it centered well the activity of him being on a scooter mm -hmm. And just blocking traffic, just blocking traffic, the friendliness of it too. Like he was, he saw you in the midst of all this, and right? Like, or whoever, and just threw it up. Well, um, I'm not a huge fan of people posing yeah. for cameras on the street. It makes it looks like they posed for you, and that takes a little bit away from candid shot. And um, <clears throat> do I wish? The cars were not behind him, yeah, but I think it also adds up to like he's causing traffic or something like that. Maybe I would have wished the scooter was in frame, more of it was in frame, because you can also barely tell that he's riding it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It looks like he's just standing holding there some holding stick. something. So if the scooter was in frame, more of it was in frame, then you could tell that there is some kind of movement yeah. in, in, in it. I would have liked it probably to be a little wider, just show more around. Well, it, I'd like the, yeah. the, the horizontal, uh, sorry, the vertical works, Right. Yeah. The portrait mode works for, for this photo, but then I wish there was more of the yeah. scooter just, yeah. in it. Step back a little what, bit what further. Think? I don't know, I like it, and I, I really hate the scooter part of it, mm -hmm. I wish like, the whole scooter was there, but then I love that. Yeah, I don't like the posing, but I still love the posing in here, cause it's like regardless of the stress behind me, mm -hmm. peace. <laughs> I mean, you got all this activity, all this There's motion. all these activities. I, there's cars behind okay, me. Okay, so you just saved you just you but just fish. saved the photo with what you just said. <laughs> like, yeah, there is so much this um, um, thing going on behind me, like probably the people will be honking and stuff yeah. like that like can and you just get away from, <laughs> from the road but it's just like whatever yep Peace. i don't care <laughs> it shows the ruthless guy i know okay there that didn't save it that did save it all you, right, you save. just saved the photo all right guys let us know what you think <laughs> um well, what do you think about this photo i think it shows a lot about humanity yeah i see a guy in this, this struggle you know hey he looks i don't know what he's doing like he's begging for change or something. And then there's just the people staying in conversation, not paying attention, yeah, not walking paying by attention. like blindly to this guy over here who is in need, you know what I mean? Right. And I mean, you they're can't smiling tell. even. You can't tell if they helped or if they didn't help. Maybe they're smiling because they did. Yeah, maybe, maybe they're, they're smiling because they did. And right. his facial expression is... You can't tell whether, you whether can't tell he's, he's crying sad or he's happy or, he's or happy. what's going on. Right. But then... What is interesting about this photo is the fact that they are both of the two people that have smile on their face are on the side of the frame and, and he is on at, the other yeah. side of the frame. Yeah, Maybe what what would I have changed in this photo? Maybe step back a little bit, get more of them in it instead of like having cutting off more of this guy, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, apart from that, I think everything in this in this photo works. And I, I do. It was, it was a really nice moment to capture, and like you said, the uh, humanity in, in the photo is what makes the photo looks good. Yeah. Let us know in the in the comment, guys, what you think. Very interesting. What do you think, Ezra? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love it. But I wish, like, the light on her, on the first lady, mm -hmm. like, she wasn't that white. It wasn't like Later. overexposed on her. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it works that way because that is helping get the shadow. And it looks like Honestly, looking at it, it looks like she's holding a laptop or something like that. But 
I know you can tell it's a phone because mm -hmm. she's holding it like this, but because of this the painting, painting white thing, it looks like a laptop or something like that. If not, it would have it would have looked like this is her shadow, mm -hmm. and then yeah. this is another shadow. Or That's what I love that. about the most is. Is, you can't but, tell, but if you looked in between the two, right. you see that that's the first person shadow. That's the first person But it kind of looks like her shadow is like, right. it's creepy, so like someone if, coming out of the dark. If the hand, if the hand wasn't having that phone, that would have been a different scenario, reading into it. Like the angle. And the I like that, even how, even though there is so much shadow here, you can still see that window there. It, yeah. it adds so much that's there. One of my favorite parts. The picture is a little bit like falling because of the line mm -hmm. it's like the line here is making it look like yeah. the picture is like falling but if if you if it is cropped in a little bit or if it was but if you crop in then it's the, gonna the, take off like i like that you can see the the light up right here. It, but if shows. you crop it in to you are getting the person really close to the edge right. of the frame which will ruin the photo but yeah i think i think it, it it's add up to the graffiti thing and, and the mirror Guys, let us know what you think. Oh man, I love this. What change of thing? On this photo. Okay. Keep your eyes on the pies. Keep your eyes on, like, just the reflection. Keep your the, eyes on the pies. On the pies. It's a pizza place. I don't know, there's just so much light. I don't know, it's, it's just visually stimulating. Honestly. I remember when I first saw this photo. I'm not gonna say who took it, I was just like, best photo they've ever taken. <laughs> Instantly for when I first saw this. I like it. Um, I like that it is just one person in mm -hmm. the frame and there is nobody else. It's like that one person who works late or maybe hang out late and everybody leave and he's like lonely and you know, it looks like he doesn't have anybody, girlfriend or any, anybody to hang out with or friends to hang out with. It's just like or even if he, he was with friends, it's just like that person who likes to drink all by themselves. You know, uh, I like it. I, I wish there were, there were more light on the subject mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it looks like they are blending in the frame, in the right. picture so much that you can, <clears throat> sorry, you can't really see him that much if you first look at it. Because when you look at it, the first thing your eyes go to is this light the top, yeah. on top of the top it. Plate. Yeah. So I wish there was more light on the subject. I like that there is light on the seat that is leading you to him. Mm. It, it, I think it makes the photo looks really good, but I wish there was more light on the subject. I think that is the only thing that I, I yeah. would change on, on this. Yeah, I don't know. Is it my eyes that see blue or is there blue in it? I think there's a little bit of blue, like a little bit of blue, blue in it. You can't ask me, man. I got a little colorblind. <laughs> when you're a little colorblind, it's hard to. Be so a I mean, I mean, maybe if if somebody that doesn't like, or let me let me say it this way, if somebody would think the colors and lights are a little bit distracting, maybe black and white. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. And black be and able white. to pop it up, like I like see the guy. I love the color of the lights. But keep your eyes on the pies. Like mm -hmm. look at the red double behind it yeah there's a lot I like that this is my favorite section of life and right i think i like i like that you can see through to the back, back yeah. that mm -hmm. gives you that depth that there is like the window over there and there's like this tree behind it and uh, in the back, red light. looking at it again it looks like this is a person standing here oh that, that's even hard to see so yeah yeah but that's hard to see that's hard to see but then yeah maybe it's me just like really looking at it and picking out stuff but this photo is really nice do i wish there was small light on the subject yep black and white you maybe have two of the f the same photo one in color one in black and white and see which one works much better what oh. do you guys think hmm. what do you think mm -hmm. i wish this Oh, Whoever took it was patient to wait for the guy coming down, but then this other shadow won't wait for you. Right. So you lose it. But I just, I wish there was somebody like midway, like keep the shadow because I love the shadow, but mm. somebody midway. I like. There is a mystery behind. I this like thing. that aspect of it, though because I like the main focal 
like the main subject being the shadow. Right. Yeah. And I like that it shows it's busy because there there are legs in the distance. Coming up. I like that. Even though you can't see the person, that's the mystery behind it. Right. And I like that aspect of it because I like this being the main focal point of the photo and mm -hmm. the shadow. I think uh, I agree with you um, that if that person was that, that if that person had given that movement, that leg movement, and yeah. he goes in the V, uh, and you see that he's actually really walking instead of he's standing there. Mm -hmm. But then, if you had waited, you wouldn't get the shot. If you had right? waited Just for whatever the time, yeah. you would lose the shot. Because the shot goes so, past the wall, then right. you would lose nice the shot. That's the wall. I think um, the shadow is interesting because it. It looks like that shadow could never be made by just someone standing straight up. Right. The way the lights work, and it kind of looks like they're flying, like a shadow yeah. is flying toward that. Well, that's interesting. What I, yeah, what I would change, like you said, the movement. Um, do I wish that car wasn't there? Maybe, maybe to it adds up to it, like gives it a little bit of depth. I but, like the depth of it. I like, um, I like, I don't mind the car. I just mind the white space. Between the shadow and the legs, and the coming, legs out. coming out, like it's so empty. Yeah, I mean, I would, I wouldn't mind if the legs are a little bit closer, mm -hmm. and the shadow you just keep it there. I would love that, but All it's right. what you get. I mean, you can't stop like people it. and rush others. Right, but maybe, That's maybe true. if you had, if you had stood there for a while, you could get. Some two uh, two different people. I mean, you can do way. like probably a double exposure. Or something. You you wouldn't know that you wouldn't know if that that spot is a busy road or not. Yeah. If it if it was a busy road, you could stand there for a while, take multiple photos, and at the end of the day, you get what exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. But in the lights is so heavy. It's, I like that it leads from the top and then it leads from the mm -hmm. bottom and then you get that leading wall leading to the subject. And then you get the shadow also like leading into it. Yeah, I like that a lot. Like, it, it, it looks really good. Like, like it. visually, it looks really good. Mm -hmm. But like yeah, it. if you if 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 the person had waited a little bit longer, maybe you get two different people. But maybe you might not even get two different people. But that's what I like. I like how minimal it is, but how much you can look at it. it right. Just, yeah. It makes you just think. Right. All right, guys. Let us know in the comments what you think. That's the best. Wow. I love the colors of that picture. I um I, I don't wish... want to change. If I was to change, I would it would require me to change the weather which is impossible mm -hmm. so that that snow or salt isn't there. That salt? Yeah, I wouldn't want it there, but I love it. But but the then way. but then the salt adds up to the story because it makes you know that it's winter. Yeah. Because even though she is dressed up all like in the winter clothing clothes P people sometimes wear stuff even when it's like mm -hmm. in, in yeah. sunny so i mean the I've salt that is there clothes in the winter. So it just adds another layer of like color right color. the salt that is there is just telling you that it's winter time you know and what i wish like what would i do different about this photo get the person more in focus it looks like the person is a little bit out yeah, of focus and what is but the, on the right side of the frame is more in focus and there is more light yeah. there that it takes my eye there right. than looking at the subject. I think the color, they just, they draws me. Yeah, right. so maybe crop in a little bit and take that right side right. light away and then just keep the subject. But I, I don't know, you can add this photo in like a book, mm -hmm. but because the person is out of focus, mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah, and would, then I wish. I the focus for sure. And then I wish, like, you step back a little bit, you know, right. so you can get more of the person. I like the movement. It looks like the, she's a busy woman, and I like that there is more space ahead of her, mm. taking you the direction she's going. But yeah, I wish that the top, it's a little bit distracting, and then the right hand side. All right, guys. As usual, let us know. Oh, the hand gesture. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> I was watching the YouTuber and he said anytime he's taking photo of somebody and they give this the the finger to the to him, he, he jubilates because he's like, You just made my photo. Mm -hmm. I mean I, I love that picture for the same reason. Hey. Who does that? I love that it tells you what I mean, you have people to face. do it. It's an emotion. <laughs> but yeah. I, we, I like that it shows what we have to face out there. Yeah. The real reactions we give from what we this, do. This, this, like, every street photographer can relate to it. That this is actually what happens on the street. Like, you don't just get it with all the smiles. And yeah. that's, a per that's a perfect photo. <laughs> like, then what's funny is two photos ago, someone was going peace. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah now this one now they, <laughs> dropped, they, dropped, they dropped the finger. Exactly. It went from exactly. That tells you what we go through on the street. But what would I have changed in this photo? I wish there was much wider than it is. Mm -hmm. And I wish it was you know the the crop on it. The, the crop was straight up. The, yeah, it, it doesn't look straight, yeah. but um that doesn't take away from what is going on. So at the end of the day, that is the main focus. That right. is the subject. So, mm -hmm. but I wish it was a little bit more wider than, than that because you are cutting off the elbow. But yeah, this is what we go through. And let us know what you guys think. Ooh. Mm. I like this all around. Honestly, I don't think I would change anything. That is dramatic. I mean, way black and white makes is. it. Oh my gosh! Yeah. Actually, also, yeah, it's dramatic because it's the way his hand is. But then it, the guy is a little bit out of focus. No, that's perfect though. It doesn't even matter. I mean, I don't know. I feel like black and white did the magic. Yeah. Like, and now looking at it, it looks like there's somebody's hand in this. There is. Yeah. Which makes you even more dramatic. Understand like, what's that he there going is on? somebody there. But what is like, he doing? What is, what is he they, being told right what now? What is he like, exactly? What are they talking about? There is more, like, in t his face looks more tense. Yeah, something is definitely going on. Going, going looks on. Like they have a few waters. And 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 it also looks like he's a very cool, quiet guy who is listening. Yeah. You know, I, if you take away all of the drama that you you could like read into the photo, mm -hmm. it also looks like somebody who really listens when you talk. Mm -hmm. So I like that photo. the framing, I think the framing is good because Perfect. the light on top of him shows the light that is on his face. There's enough space on and each then, side of it to make right. it feel open. Right. I, I, I think I like this photo too. I, I really do. All right. Interesting. This selection has a lot of shadow play. That's true. Um, what I would change, I will crop it in more and take away a lot of the dark spots because there is like so black. so there is so many like not many like and so crop much it. yeah crop it in particular I think and, that's and what I like about it is how much space how much like darkness how they're walking into because it leads you right there yeah it's just minimal and it leads you like why is there so much darkness around this little open space too like. Mm -hmm. In a person, well, know. if maybe if if the right side of the photo, maybe if there were more light on the right side of the frame, more light, like yeah, more light. Like I wish the background was more lit up so you could see behind them. Yeah, mm -hmm. like there is something out there, but like where the car is. Yeah, like just a little bit more lit up. I don't know. But I, I, mean, I just want. I love all the black around. Another flipper. I love all the black around, but I don't know what this is. What's happening at the top, top of the photo? The very top. Of yeah, it. that's that's more distracting to me now. That I've gotten closer and like that's kind of. What I like, I would there. love. The dark sides to be even. Mm -hmm. It's like there is a dead. Is it coming? Is it going? You can't tell. You can you can't tell. <laughs> but from from. Now from he's the, playing. No, he's coming. Looking at the angle of his right or left foot, it's it's bent in and this way. Yeah. He's going then. It's bent yeah. that way. It's bent in. No. But it's he, bent in. But you can look at it either way. Is it bent out or bent in? You 
can't even tell. Well, the the knee, the knee. You is can tell the knee. Out. Well, yeah. The knee is popping out. Well, maybe it's an so ostrich. if if the. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I like it. I like it. Uh, I yeah. Just, I don't know, that dead black space. Oh, I love that. It's like he's falling into a black hole. The abyss. The event horizon of nothingness. The car is not distracting to me at all. It, no, it's not. It's yeah, not. It's the only thing that bothers me is the, the, this black space around him. Do I wish it was a little bit smaller or like tight? Maybe. No. But why? Or maybe if you make it a, like a panorama and then cut it off the edge where his where the light end and then at the top where the light starts and then you cut a little bit away of this and like, you know, make it a panorama like, mm -hmm. like this. I think anyway you cut this photo would be pretty good. Yeah. Because there's enough room to play with. What, what do you guys think? Let us know. I like the reflection. I, I like her, but... You like her? You love no, her? No, I like the picture, but <laughs> once I would wish for the, this shadow person mm -hmm. to be a step backwards. Right. To put two shadows. No, it's just one shadow in her, like two people yeah, in her. Yeah. Well, I think. Um, but she's looking at that. In this, in this photo, if. It was taken horizontally and there was somebody standing in the window mm. and she is looking at that person yeah, that yeah, would yeah. add up to it i don't think the vertical works in this we picture. don't know what she's looking at we don't know what she's looking at and she's like but too look much to the right of the frame which gives like the what behind there is not interesting i think yeah i think another thing i don't i don't like the angle as much it's not really interesting but i like the subject I like, I like the look on yeah. the face, but then if it was horizontal mm -hmm. and we could see what she's actually looking at, that would have that would have been work. Yeah. Wow. Be surprised. That's a straight face portrait. You know, I feel like it's really hard to critique a portrait. I don't know what to say about a portrait. I think he looks clean. I like the the lights behind him. The blurred, the bokeh. I like his face. Yeah, the bokeh. Yeah, I like his. I like his facial expression. I think it was a good specimen for sure to take a photo of. I don't think that was a waste of a shot. You know. Yeah, I don't. I don't really have much to say about this photo. It's hard. It's really hard to to critique a poetry, but um, he looks like he's seen some things. So. Though. Yeah, it's like he's seen some. The whoever he took this photo, or whatever. Whoever took this photo did a great job of capturing who he he really, really is. is. Yeah, I think there's not much to say about about this this photo. I'd say it's a good. Point. It looks it looks in sharp. It's like in focus. You can see the eyes, and if you really go in, you can really even see what he's looking at. Oh, and the in eyes. The eyes. Oh. Yeah. Which who is it? Mm -hmm. Which one of us? Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> Let us know, guys, what you guys think. Oh, snap. I love the picture. I think the person with the umbrella should be more centered instead of hiding behind the behind sign. the sign. I like the edges. I and like the frame. I wish if that person wasn't there, that would be fine. But if that person is there, if he is also in the, in the frame, like the, if the tree wasn't cutting through him, that would have also been good. But, mm -hmm. And then if... Whoever took the photo has waited just one second. That person, I don't know, it looks like they are going the left way. Yeah, it's square. a corner, so you lose it soon. Yeah, and if if they were going this way, then that would have, I would have said, then you I wait. would want them more centered between the right, poles. Right, between yeah. the poles. But I like that the pole, street signs in it and the, the crosswalk yeah. uh, hand signs in it. And in, in this way, there is not much to say about the black on both sides because it makes you look like maybe the person like just like put a, a gradient and then dropped all of the highlight and, 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 and white in there to give it that framing or mm -hmm. maybe it was taken through something. something but 
if it was taken through something that is really creative but then i wish that tree that is cutting or that pole that is cutting through that person wasn't though like wasn't cutting it would be an even cool though the black would have lined up perfectly with that pole right right yeah. here that way it was just yeah the, well that yeah. that wouldn't i wouldn't want that too because i would want the pole to be there you right. wouldn't see that it's a pole right but True. then that person i wish that person was like more like the tree wasn't well, yeah. i keep saying tree the pole wasn't cutting tree it's then. made of wood it's from a tree it's a yeah. tree and they're a jerk for ruining that it's a dead <laughs> tree <laughs> so that's what do you think i like it What's, what do you and hate can, most about it I can't hate anything about it because at the end of the day, you can control what's going on around you. The streets are a hard thing. I would have loved her to be a little bit to her, right? Like mm -hmm. the umbrella lady. Mm -hmm. But you can't control that. So the fact that you get it at the time you get it. Because otherwise, she's coming from this other side. There's nothing else you'll be able to see or get. Minus the pole and an umbrella, which doesn't make sense. But now you get it a hand. And then her, like, holding her umbrella and making her turn. But I love that whole picture in general. Like, the arrows, the only, the road. Guys, let us know I what like you it. think. <laughs> oh. That is a handsome photo. That is a very, very handsome photo. I like it. I think it's... Well, what I would change about this photo is... If both of them, because you can tell that there's oh, somebody here, yeah. if both of them were in the frame, or even if they were both not in the frame, but mm. he, that the thing wasn't like it kind of takes off his away face. because when you first look at it, if you don't see that person, right? The the aesthetic of the photo is the one lonely person in the window. To me, well, that's the it, it doesn't look it. lonely because you not, can not tell. I mean, you can show she's, she's looking not a, forward, not in a negative way, but for somebody, yeah. The but look no. is the look on the face. The look well. drives you. That's it. Right, but then the, the 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 frame of the window, the the pole over there or the bar over there is like cutting straight into the person's face, and you but can barely see. But then first time look again, I think you just perfect. see a woman. You you see lemon, a woman. Lemon grass. I like the the, the right. neon use too. There's yeah, a lot, I love the neon. Good, like, it looks neon, and it has the. The old color works. Aesthetic. I think the color works. Yeah. Black and white. I don't know. Yeah, I would it, never use black and white. Black, black and white wouldn't have been nice yeah. on this photo. I think the color work. What what I would change? Maybe get both of them in frame, or maybe if he was the back of him was blocked and then his face was in frame. Yeah, that but would have been. I think I would have, like if you could have cropped it to where it'd have been not as much on top. Like I, I know it doesn't really take away a lot, but if it would have just been cropped right. a little bit. Like what am I trying to do? You see what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. Like more even with the top of the lemongrass. But overall, I like the photo. All right, guys, tell us. Thank you. Who took what? Who did what? Oh, who did? Who took the photo? <laughs> Whatever you say. Is it yeah, Ezra? Is it, is it Robbie? <laughs> is it me? Who took I wonder the photo? if you'll be able to let tell us. And then let us know what you guys think. I wonder if we did a good job it would be, at covering it would be. up that we were. Who, yeah, whose photo? We were, it would like, be a thing. psychologist, like you read faces and stuff like that. Too. Whoa, yeah, whoa, like, you saw me on that one. Oh, another portrait. That's a I like guy. this one. I think he's just a stud overall. And I like the angle he's looking. It's not straight. Yeah, he's like not looking straight up. It's like. And his hair's a little messy. Yeah. yeah. It's hard to say anything about I, I, I don't like the fact that maybe if the person taking the photo would have shifted a little bit this way and like. That white space up there yeah, doesn't know. bother me that much, honestly. I, I mean, think, I don't I feel know like the subject body. feels so much of the frame mm -hmm. that that does. That's a and I, I like that. Even though you can see his face, you can tell that it was backlit with the, by the sun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can see the sun uh, on both shoulders. I love the angle he's looking at. And yeah, I think he's not looking straight in the in the camera, and that really. I like that a lot. Me. I like I like it. I have nothing negative to say about that. All right, guys. Let us know. Maybe, maybe, maybe I wish his eyes were more like lit up. Mm. It looks a little bit darker. Mm -hmm. So maybe if if his eyes like the first portrait where you can see exactly like the details yeah. in the eye. I, I wish this one too was like that. But apart from that, it's a Better. great portrait. See the details in the hair. Um. Hmm. Interesting. 
I think we've talked about this photo before. Yeah. We have talked about it before, and like I was saying. I knew when I took it, it wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> now they really don't know who took it. Anyway, but uh, yeah, there is no subject in the photo, even though you might say the subject is the graffiti, Richard uh, Pryor. The, the Richard Pryor behind it. But I, I don't know if if I if the person that took it had waited for a subject to come in, that would have been great. But I feel like anybody could take take this photo. That is. That is what I think. But I do like the lighting. But sometimes it, yeah. you go out on the street and you are like, this is like a, a test shot or like mm -hmm. getting you in the mood. Yeah, I would love, I would really love somebody walking through on the other side. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I like it. I don't know. I love, I love that it's, it's darker like on the side. Right, the the, I think you use the light. I, I think right you the, the lighting pulls, doesn't man. bother me that much. I think if you really loved Richard Pryor and you wanted a creative street piece, like this is fine art in a sense to me. There's some abstract light, lighting and, and reflection going around. Like it would still make a nice wall piece for someone's house who really enjoyed the work of Richard Pryor too. Mm. So it's going okay. in a different direction without people. It works. Let us know, guys. Do you like taking photos of murals and stuff like that? Do you think there should there should have been a subject or there should have been somebody else in the in the frame or in the photo? Let us know in the comments. Also, below. if you've never heard of Richard Pryor, look him up. He's amazing. All right, guys. This is the last photo of the critiques, okay. and this photo is gorgeous. It's so crazy. It's hard to tell if that wall is part of that apartment building. I'm just so confused. Whoa, I'm confused whoa. at the same time. Like in the back. It makes it sense. Like, well. It looks like it looks like whatever is there is whatever it's hanging Wait. there, it's hanging on the walls. It looks like, like for real, for real. Yeah, they look like balconies like on the apartment like house. No, they're like hanging on the wall. It's a house behind them. No, these behind are shelves, them. but they look like balconies to the yeah, apartment. Yeah, it looks like balcony. It's an Inception. Have you ever seen that movie? This is amazing. Like I just saw it. Like the whole time, I have, I've not seen this picture before. But I, I think, think it's because we've never seen it this big. You're looking at it. Yeah, it looks Instagram. like you're looking balconies. at it on an Instagram frame. But right. it's not a shelf. Yeah, because the, the shelves look like a balcony. And 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 one thing is. It's like a full it house. Looks, you can tell that it's a shop. When you look at it, you can, if you look at it for a long time, you can. You can tell, tell it's a shop. That it's a, a shop. Street. But then once you look at it from the for the first time, it looks like balconies and those things were actually hanged on mm -hmm. the house or the building, and then some way, one way or the other, it looks like the guy is a reflection. Yeah. But then it also looks like he is inside of the shop. And it there's so much going on. It's photo. inception. There it's is a, so it's much a dream. Doctor Strange. Right. Do it's I, a dream in a dream. It's in another dream. Yeah. Because you got the cars. On it each looks side. like on a each train. Side. You have some like neon. It shows you the temperature over here. I'm just kidding. Is that the bus? I don't know what that is. is the that number a, was it 32 degrees out? I don't it know. looks it's like 32. it looks like uh, um. Or is it the 23? Why would I? I was gonna say it's the street lights. But, oh yeah, the walking, like it counts, but it, it count? doesn't count up to 32. 32. No, I, don't think I mean, unless there is a street here where it gives you 32 seconds to cross. To cross. <laughs> this, I don't think there is. Oh man, this is a really great photo to end up. To, to I, end I up love that picture. There, there is so much in this. Well, I'm this. sure whoever took it will sell it to one of you. <laughs> or me. I mean, I, I could go to that place. That's a $1,600 photo. photo. <laughs> and the light, and tried to read the light on the guy, guy is just perfect. Yeah. I think it. I think in my head, I don't, maybe I, it's great. It but like, I think it might be a little. It looks like that lady is like walking into him. Like she's walking it through. It looks like he. Guys, this is a this, this this is just a, a great photo to to end the critique way, and um, I thank you guys so much for sticking around. Thank you, Ezra, for submitting your photos, and thank you, Robbie, for submitting your photos as well and being honest on the critiques and. I think this this is great. Really, you now. still cannot eat your candy. <laughs> Come on, <man. laughs> this this was really fun though, and um, well, this was really fun. I've really learned a lot just critiquing our own photos and mm -hmm. talking about it. It it gives you a different perspective of of the photo, and we've reviewed so many things that 
initially we didn't even know they were yeah. in the pictures and guys if you really enjoyed this episode let us know in the comments we will do more of this and if you guys out there would like to also submit your photos for us to talk about it this way let me know in the comments and we can figure something out and make it happen but thank you guys so much for coming um, thank you for having us this this video is going to be really long um, <laughs> I, might, I might cut it into two depending on on how long it'll take it is and post it one after the other or maybe just post all of it and um but i think an overall lesson to like you see how com but like we are also comfortable with each other that this was just relaxing and yeah. we were we were critiquing each other as friends right without like fear of one of us getting angry right because we and want not be each, yeah i us, mean we want to, each other to grow mm -hmm. not being rude or stupid or silly or like a jerk about it and for yeah. all of you out there never be afraid to tell a friend help exactly. them help them grow do I mean, it is it's what it should be there is no reason to be a hypocrite because at the end of the day we die man <laughs> and it's beautiful <laughs> might as well put it out there it's beautiful hearing some of the reactions make it straight let's live happy the yeah. reaction you like on some of my photos or your photos hearing the how positive they you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Right. The reactions were, it's very my, uplifting. My favorite part. It's very uplifting. My uplifting. favorite part is seeing some things in my photos for the first time that I haven't Someone else even noticed out. it. That yeah. is really cool. That somebody noticed it and said like, dude, this is in your photo. And then you look at it and you're like, wow, this is really in the photo. Anyway. This is where we end this video. We don't want to keep ranting and ranting and ranting. Let us know in the comments below who you think took which photo and what you think about the photos, what you would have done different. Do you think there was anything to be changed? Do you think the lighting was great? Do you think that you could have waited for a second to make a difference in the photo? Let us know in the comments below. I will leave each of our Instagram in the in the uh, description you can follow Robbie on Instagram or you can follow Ezra on Instagram you can follow me on Instagram this is our Instagram right here on the screen and um, thank you guys for watching thank you guys for sticking around I know it's a long video all right guys if you like this episode please hit the thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and leave your comments below um, if you don't know us um this is robbie this is ezra i'm ezra i'm edmund we Hi. are street photographers and we are friends and we go on the street and take photos and also sometimes i bring you guys with me and then share with you what exactly goes on on the street but as always go Thank hit the street the be safe even though it's gonna be so bad outside still Create something, you know, do something creatively to so improve yourself. It's always a good day. Right. And always, always. Create to inspire. Create, create to, to inspire. inspire. I need to say that. See